An ecosystem is a geographic area containing a biological community consisting of organisms and their physical environment, both abiotic and biotic. Within ecosystems exist many different interactions, food webs, primary producers, primary consumers, and predators. But these aspects are not static. Instead, they can change drastically. We will look at two major concepts pertaining to these fluctuations within ecosystems, bottom-up control and top-down control. Bottom-up effects on ecological systems occur when the resources and primary producers are the main influences on the structure of the whole ecosystem. In other words, a change in nutrient or primary producers results in changes in trophic levels above. For example, let's take a simple food chain consisting of kelp, urchins, and sea otters, in which kelp is the primary producer. Kelp is eaten by urchins, and urchins are eaten by sea otters. Let's say that certain stressors cause a large portion of kelp to die, and the population decreases. Then the urchins will have no kelp to eat and subsequently die, and decrease urchin populations as well. Finally, the lack of urchins means the sea otters will also have a lack of food and decrease in population. This is a bottom-up effect, as a decrease in lower food chain levels has an indirect effect on the upper food chain level. For top-down control, top consumers are the ones that lead to effects on the rest of the ecosystem. Let's say that an increase in fur hunting causes the death of many sea otters. This means that the population of otters will decrease. With less otters means less predators that eat urchins, allowing urchin populations to increase. Finally, the large urchin populations will consume a lot of the kelp, leading to decreased kelp populations. Thus, we see this alternating population change effect in which top predators lead to indirect effects at lower trophic levels. This is also referred to as trophic cascades. But what is the purpose of understanding this concept though? Because it highlights how seemingly harmless changes to one trophic level can potentially lead to devastating outcomes for other trophic levels. At many times, we humans are at fault. Anthropogenic effects like pollution, fossil fuels, and destructive fishing and bycatch detrimentally affect our ecosystems, which can eventually impact us and cause a great deal of damage to our planet. Therefore, we should be aware of how our actions affect immense amounts of living organisms. However, through the efforts of conservation, educating others on negative effects of our actions, and encouraging respect for life, we can help sustain and rebuild our planet.